Hi, I'm Doug Plummer. We are at the May Madness Contra Dance Weekend in Northern Arizona. Uh, my goal here is to get a photo I can use in the 2014 Contra Dance calendar. What I'm going to do here is talk about my thoughts about Contra Dance photography, what I look for, how I photograph it, how I get these shots in the calendar. I'm watching this dance right now, and what I'm seeing is that there's a lot of cross and back and forth moves where people are reaching out and there's a lot of touching. I love dances with a lot of physical contact like that. And so I don't think about the entire dance and photographing a dance that I photograph. I look for those moments that give me a feeling. And the feeling, here we go, we're going into this across and they're going across again and they're going across again. That's going to be a glorious picture if I can catch it. And so that's the only part of the dance I need to pay attention to. And then every time it comes around, every 32 bars it comes again, I get another whack at it. So let's get started and see what we can do with this. Now I typically record with two camera bodies. One of them's taking the video right now, so I've got to change lenses when I want to go back and forth. With these hands across shots, having a long depth, you know, foreshortened view with a long lens can be really effective. It can be really challenging to get that picture because focus can be a real challenge with a lot of motion. And even with advanced cameras like this, it can be a problem to, um, to find the right focus point. So I need to spend a lot of time getting these shots sometimes. They're not easy. Uh, but I kind of like not easy. That kind of works for me. I like doing things that are hard. Because I've taken all the easy pictures, I think, already. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yum. The other thing I want to stress is that I'm not shooting randomly. I'm really attentive to the moment in front of me. You know, I want every shot to have intention behind it. I'm not using a motor drive, I'm shooting singular images, and I'm shooting them when it feels like there's an image there. I'm trusting my, my, the sensations in my body to tell me, yes, now's the moment. It's on an unconscious level, really, where that operates at its best. And that takes practice. Oh, lovely. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, so... I was talking about being attentive to my feelings while I'm photographing, and that's the signal for me. You know, where in my body do I feel like there's a photograph? If I step here, is it, does it feel different than if I step here when I'm looking through the camera? And those feelings are really what I pay attention to. And that's really where you operate as a photographer. Uh, something you want to do is watch the walkthrough. This is where you get a lot of, in, a lot of you can anticipate where the good shots are going to happen. One of the things is you don't need to photograph the entire dance. You want to look for those moments that look like they have a compelling moment. And the walkthrough is a good place to sense that. In fact, the walkthrough is a great place to take pictures. Some of the best pictures I've taken during walkthroughs. And you know, and that can and things are a little slower too, so it's a little easier to capture that. But this is a great, you know, I'm watching the line, I'm watching what moments I want to focus on when the dance begins. Second corner, because you'll be doing a little extra something right there. Mm. One, let's give a right hand to your partner. Oh, there's the moment. Bang. Oh, it's a contra corner dance. I'm missing it. Oh. One, let's turn your partner by the right. I love contra corner dances. And hold on to your second corner by the left. One, let's give a right hand to your partner. So reach out and make diagonal waves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. right to your partner. See, with a diagonal wave, I've got lots of faces at me and lots of layers I can look through. I love this. Oh, I love this. And are helping each other out there. Great. So you have, you're still attached to your second corner. Balance this wave. Now, everyone is Oh, I should point out, you saw me glance down at my screen just now. All I'm doing is checking my exposure. 
I'm not looking at what I shot. Oh, you know, I, I'll glance down there just to make sure I'm not blowing the exposure, and then I go back to where I am. If you spend any time on your screen, you are no longer in the moment, you're in the past. It's really important to stay in the moment. So ignore the screen as much as you can. <laughs> you gotta stay out of the way of the dancer sometimes. But here's the thing is that you wanna be close to what's going on. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm dodging elbows here. You gotta be attentive to the dancers and not get in their way and be sensitive if they're bothered by you, back off, but, but you need to be close to get compelling pictures. Um, that's, that's, that's one of the key things about, about this stuff. Especially with a wide angle lens, you want a dominant foreground element to make the picture interesting. <laughs> and sometimes they vamp for you like that. about being close is that is not to worry about being a pest unless you're being a pest but then you don't then stop being one but but if you're having the same feeling your subject is you tend to disappear into the water with them and that makes getting that connection close to this in the picture that's what makes it happen is when you get when you're able to do that is You'll be in the water with them. <laughs> I'm going to switch lenses again. Because I saw some wonderful faces I want to get. Now see, I'll often track one. Uh, <laughs> I'll often track one person through a dance, and watch them. And so I'll ignore it. You know, not ignore it, but I'll just you know, if someone's really alive and in there, that's who I'll tend to focus on, and just track them through the dance. Nice. So the idea is to pay attention to how you're feeling, connect with the room, know your gear. You know, I'm using fancy gear, but you don't need this. You can do this with an iPhone. Um, I taught workshops where people shot dances with their iPhone. And it works, it's wonderful when that happens. And so. What is it that makes the swirling? Pardon? What is it that you catch the swirling with? Okay, this is great, get us both here. Come here, come closer here. Now, what is it you ask? What is it that makes the swirl, the swirl okay. effect? Or Slow shutter speed. Slow shutter speed. Yeah, if you, have a, if you have a way to get into manual things, significant, that's good. If you get to a 30th or a 15th, that's even better. Okay? If you can go to... Like, if you lower your ISO, that'll help. Yeah, lower your I ISO. Yeah, go to like 100. Go oh, okay. now. You're going to be at a slow shutter speed. Okay. And the trick when you've got a when you've got when you want that swirly effect, you've got to pan with the movement. You've got to follow something. Because you want something to be sharp there. It doesn't matter as long as there's something in there that looks kind of sharp. Then the picture looks sharp. Yeah. Okay. How do you get the head? I mean, that you follow. No, you just follow with it. You find something interesting and follow the movement. Like if someone's swinging, you'll just follow them swinging okay. around and around. If someone's moving across the okay, uh, the but set, the head is still. That's why it's right? Okay, exactly. Okay, That's okay, why you pan it. them. Right, right. Follow okay. a center of interest and just and it doesn't matter where in the frame it is, you know, because okay. you can't control a lineup really so well. One hundred is better, and then the f stop thing doesn't. I don't know what it is. But that is 
Okay. Matter. Well, you'll check your shutter speed and see if it's about a 15th or a 30th will tend to be fine. So what you do is what just pan along. When you see somebody moving, just pan along, follow them across, and get and get close. Yes. Okay. That's great. That's where you need to get close. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye.